Yeah, we're doing this in one take. We're doing this in one take right now. Good morning, good afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan Carter. Nolan is not behind the camera, but he will be editing this video. For God's sakes, give us Please, Winnipeg! Oh, it's off-centered. Uh-oh, gotta fix that, right? Because the Winnipeg Jets care about their high-quality offense. I should care about this high-quality production. <sighs> ah! I wrote notes. I wrote notes. And then I just stopped writing notes because we just stopped playing hockey. We just stopped playing hockey. Who gets the Michael Ward for the worst Jets? They all get the Michael Ward for the worst Jet. Jets lose three nothing to Joel Hofer and Thomas Grice. Here's the here's the sadistic part of it. There's no even like there's no even like pretend like let's forget about this game and like say like oh it's at least it's a feel good story for a, a Winnipeg born uh kid to get a shutout against his hometown team. He didn't even get the fucking shutout. Thomas Grice came in for over five minutes. So therefore, Joel Hofer doesn't get the shutout. That's how messed up this is. Let's go into the first goal. Because Barry Kaplan scores in under five minutes into the first period again. And the Jets get scored on first for the ninth time in ten games reaction here. Come on. Really? Stop giving up the first goal of the game. All that oh, wow. Great chance. Great chance. We ended up giving up a goal period, which was, pff, yeah, about per the course. And people are like, oh, well, at least Nashville's getting blown up tonight. We are not worried about Nashville. We are worried about Calgary, who gets to play against Arizona, Anaheim. LA is like their toughest matchup. They already dragged the point out of Dallas. Like, are you not concerned yet? The power play for the Winnipeg Jets is the biggest piece of dog I've ever seen in my life. No one is playing for the team. It is a bunch of individuals standing in their coach assigned spot on in this king little pentagon and no one cares. Not a single person is in front of the net willing to take a deflection off the body, willing to screen the goalie, willing to battle in front of the net. And no one's willing to move with the fucking puck. They expect the puck to come to them and their God-given talent of scoring goals, which they haven't shown in forever, to just be a parent and win them hockey games. It won't. And it hasn't. The Jets' power play is now like 0 for 14 in the last three games, which is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic because two out of those three games were against non-playoff teams. And that's even if you want to consider the fact, and it goes even further back if you want to consider games like Fucking Florida Panthers. Are they a playoff team? It doesn't. I don't know. But you showed a power play against that. Why can't you show it here? Like, why can't you show it? Jets play Arizona on Tuesday. I'll be at that game with Jets Hub. Check his channel, by the way, too. Um, it's not going to matter, though. It's not going to matter. Because if this team if this team loses against the Coyotes, season's over. Season's done. Who showed the most fight tonight? I guess Sealers, because he got in one, right? But... Doesn't really matter. Guess maybe Kevin Stenlin stood up for himself when Tory Krug was pretty much trying to like bully his way into the thing. Also, I'm gonna say this right now. I don't think the hit by uh, Kevin Stenlin was uh, worthy of a penalty, and I think they handled the Tory Krug situation. Well, I wouldn't have given him. I don't know if I'd give him a game, but the second he starts violently slamming his stick against the penalty, the penalty box, you kind of have no clue. Guess what? Yeah, it doesn't matter because they didn't do anything. They still gave up goals to the St. Louis Blues. They didn't score on the St. Louis Blues to a Tory Krugless Blues, to a to a tanking Tory Krugless Blues. They're showing the Joel Hover stats. There's no stats for Winnipeg. It's just Joel Hover's big face. It's just his face. And people are like, Zach, why does he even? I, I've watched this kid beat, the, beat me for years. I grew up playing against this guy. My team couldn't score on him then. They still can't now. I can't escape him. God, I think he played... Oh, what did he play for? McDonald's? He played for some goddamn farm team uh, out, out in the country. And I'd always roll up with my River East, River East Royals team. We'd get shut out. Just like the Jets are getting shut out. The Jets have been shut out twice in the last three games. That is unacceptable. 
Like, completely unacceptable. And the last game, they weren't able to score until the third period. So they haven't scored in eight out of their last nine periods of hockey, which is unsettling. Absolutely unsettling. Let's show the second goal now while we're still here, right? Um, oh, what was it? I, I, it doesn't matter. Wait, 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 here, reaction here. Yeah, blue score. Uh, oh, it's a tap it in front to the uh, Australian born. Yes, no, uh, whale, we whales born, or is that Welsh? Would Wales be Welsh? I don't care. Actually, I do care. I'm a geography major, but I don't have. Um, but Australian native scores to make it 2 nothing Blues. Uh, Jets do nothing. Jets show no fight, no intensity, no integrity, no nothing. They don't do anything. Um, and then if I was going to put my other player for top three, I guess maybe Connor Hellebuck because he made some good saves. But again, this was not a great Connor Hellebuck game. They're showing this. Jets are 5-10-2 in their last 17 games. This is a playoff contender? This is a cup contender? Remember when we were top of the Western Conference? Where the hell did that go? We got healthy and got worse. And also two people will be like, that's why, why do you got such an ugly Jets logo or J ugly St. Louis logo in the corner? It was kids night. So fuck you. Uh, um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, right, right, right. Three nothing goal, reaction here. Oh my God, fuck off. La-dee-da, la-dee-da. And I, at this point, I just stopped making reactions because I'm like, oh, it is, it is. And then there's obviously the Blake Wheeler obligatory uh, penalty with three minutes left. Of course there is, because of course there is, of course there is. He always takes one with three minutes left while we're trailing a game. He's done this for years. He did it in the playoffs against the Blues. Why wouldn't he do it now, right? I hate this team with a passion. With the, with the anger of burning suns right now. Like, there's so much hatred and visceral. I was kicking the shit out of my own home for this team. And, and, and everyone watching this game showed more fight than the entire roster. It's unacceptable. They need to be better. We expect them to be better. This is their last shot, possibly, at a true contending window. And they're just slowly just pissing it away. I'm not pouring that on this because that's syrupy on here and I don't want that. But they're just pissing it away, right? And it's like, when are they going to wake up and, and just see the problem? And they're not. They just don't care. I'm expecting Dave Riddick to be in, that, in Arizona. Who knows? They might panic and put Heli in because we didn't get the win tonight. Calgary now has a game in hand on us. It's tough. Jets fans, what 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 do we do? What do we do? What is the solution here? I'm legitimately in awe. Like, I don't see any I don't see any net front. The biggest thing for me is net front presence. Um having a a very uh, a mobile power play and just getting off to better starts. Those are my three things that I'd say. What are yours? Let me know down below in the comments because I actually want to know because I want to get to the bottom of this mystery, like this detective mystery. Thank you so much for watching. This was a tough one to record. Hope it's a better one to watch. Um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, Connor, you'll the top